When I count the tree, I want this entire arena to scream, fuck the Mayweathers! <laughs> 28 years of age, I'm getting fight checks and promoter checks. When Floyd was 28, he was on Oscar De La Hoya's undercard. And that's just facts. <laughs> he tipped up toes to a decision. He's never even fought a day in his life. He's a runner. He's boxing's biggest bitch. He looks like a little breakdancer or something. A little 12-year-old breakdancer bitch. What the fuck? He's 40. What are you doing with a school bag on stage? You can't even read. Man, why the hell am I going to pay $99 when I just saw the real fight last night? Holy shit. Shit. All right, so I watched the Toronto press conference last night for um, the Mayweather and, and McGregor fight coming up. Then I watched the one before that, and I got to say, this is some entertaining shit. Like, this is more entertaining than WWE and all that shit put together. Like, <laughs> I'm, I mean, this shit is, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of it's scripted. It's all just to get us to buy the tickets. But I'm sorry, I'm not paying $100 for no ticket to see this fight, man. Like, I'm not doing it. Now, now, Conor McGregor, I watch him to fight in the UFC all day because he's, he's an entertaining character and an entertaining fighter. But Floyd, hell to the knob. And when I tell you that Conor owned this dude on both nights, now Floyd tried his best to hang with him verbally, but Conor was just too much, man. He roasted this dude like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, man. Look, I'm not going to go on a full rant and, and, you know, ramble on and on and on and on about it. But I got to say, I'm just going to summarize like this. Conor owned this dude. Floyd might can beat his ass in the ring, okay, but Connor got his number when it comes to the verbal uh, roasting. He has his number in the octagon, definitely. And I laughed my ass off when Floyd had the balls to say he didn't give up. Like if it was in the ring or in the octagon. And Connor, it's so funny because you heard him off camera. He says, Don't be talking shit. You do give a fuck if it's in the octagon. Man, I laughed my ass off. If Floyd sat there, it was quiet. He couldn't say shit. It's crazy because throughout the years, you've seen Floyd trash talk all his opponents, get under his opponent's skin, get in their head before the fight even happened, and always end up winning the fight. This is the only time I've ever seen anybody shut Floyd down on, on with the words. Floyd tried to come back. He tried to say little things here and there, but you know with Floyd, all he says is, yeah, my money, my money. My record, my money, my money, my record. That's good. But Connor went in. When I say he went in, he went in. It's amazing. It's amazing Floyd. It's amazing Floyd didn't have one of these moments. <laughs> so what do you guys think, man? Are y'all are y'all actually gonna pay to see this shit? I just saw I just got my ninety nine dollars worth for free the past two nights. I don't need to see nothing else, man. I mean, if they have another press conference, I will watch that shit. I'm not going to watch the fight itself. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time with it. So what did you guys think? What did you guys think about the press conference? Who do you think was a dominant one? Comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Rashad G signing out.